One okay. thing that you did, I think, was absolutely selfless because we had Bronson on the show a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, was that you deregistered as a coach? Yeah, so you could coach Bronson in his comeback to the NRL. Uh, first of all, I th I know that Bronson made a mistake, and I thought initially the price was t too big. It's like four years yeah. when you only have ten to twelve year career. It's too much. And you know what? Somebody else gave me a statistic. Do you know what the average lifespan of a footballer is in terms of years? Yeah, that's an average two-year career. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's right. Really? Yeah. It is true. I thought you were talking about life expectancy. No, no, no. no, no. no. But yeah, yeah two-year career. career. Yeah. So that's the average. Wow. So if you had to give somebody a four-year penalty, and let's say that he's at the highest level, and lucky it happened while he was young, 19. Mm. So he's earning potential. Let's say, take that out of the equation. Yeah. We'll say he was 19 to what? Say 30? Yeah. That's yeah. his earning potential. And then what's he going to do after that? Who fucking knows? Mm. You take four years already away and there's only seven years left. And I'm thinking, but I'm 55. I'm like, okay, I've lived some good times. I steal my biggest bucket list, which is, it's actually going to affect me as far as this is concerned. Because I finally, my biggest bucket list, because what people do have over me and they come over me on social media saying that I've never trained an Olympian. Like, oh, you've trained all the and best. And that's something you want to tick off. Only just to shut the fuck them up, right? <laughs> Not so much for <laughs> myself as well. Just like, yeah. fuck off then. I, you know the reason why I don't, haven't trained an Olympian. It's the simple fact there's no money in track and field. I can't be associated with track and field. I've got to feed my family. I'll end up fucking in the line out of the Salvation Army. Mm. There's no money in track and field. So the good ones that I have had that have gone to represent, I've, got, I've let them go. But now I've got four, like, fucking freaks, right? So I don't want to lose that opportunity because I want to tick it off my bucket list as well. So now by me handing this in, yeah. the Junior Commonwealth Games are in fucking Trinidad, Tobago this year. Fucking Bronson doesn't finish his suspension by that time. I have to sit in the grandstand. But as I'm a coach. Cool, as a coach, they won't let me on the, on the field because I haven't got, a, I haven't got an accreditation. So, um, but I'm cool with that. That's the loyalty you show. I, so I want to I wanna be able to say, I am actually here and I will fucking support you the 100% because it, I know what you're going to do. And even if you don't do anything any good, I just want to be able to say, you know what? I am really that person that, it, it, I, that I profess to be. I don't talk about I'm going to be there. Do you need me? I'm going to hand it in. Oh, you were there when he gave me fire at the start. When he was mm. good, I rode on that. So what now? But I'm just going to say, see you later, do your best. It's affected my business, but I know, I know spiritually, and I'm very big on the karma. Karma comes back to me. I know it will come back to me tenfold. Yeah. But what is it about Bronson that made you want to do that? Is he one of your most talented, you know, students? But in it's, it's, it's you know, I'll tell you the other reason why I wanted to be there as well. I'm, I've fucked up heaps in my life. You got to learn your lesson, and I, I, I honestly feel like I've learnt my lesson. Mm. But just for that particular offence, I've learnt the lesson. If I actually had somebody there that I could just run off and talk to, maybe I would have been guided a little bit better because I made that mistake. I learnt from that mistake. Never made that mistake again. But I made many other mistakes because I'm, I'm I've made so many, and he's only 20, 21. I want to try and see if I can guide him, help him. What can he do, you know, whether he has a toxic relationship, how girls could hurt, hurt his, mm. uh, whatever it may be. You, you have a relationship as well with, with Todd Carney because you coached at the Sydney Roosters in 2010. Yeah. And you, you've spoken about yourself, you know, you've been through some troubles and you've had second chances in life. I want to get your perspective. Do you think Todd Carney was hard done by not getting a second chance in the NRL? Now let's just talk about a little bit more about a footballer's life, which I want to defend them, because these are some of the things that, that get overlooked. Take it for granted, yes, that they get paid well. Yes, they're a role model. Mm. Yes, everything else that they're supposed to do, we understand that. But let's just talk, let me just talk on their behalf for one second. I've seen it firsthand, riding the tail coat of Todd when he was fire in 2010, oh, getting a daily the NRL, yeah. And it's happened to me many times. I've seen it, but I've actually got to, because Todd lived, basically lived with my family because he moved down from Goulburn, didn't have any family. He's very, very close to me and still is to this day. And still 
I think that he also probably gets remembered for being a bubbler as opposed to being the great footballer that he was. He's, he's known for that image. It is. You know, most people would say, oh, Todd Carney, you know, so they say, oh, no, you know the guy that was a bubbler? Oh, yeah, that guy. Mm. Anyhow, let's just talk about, they get that window period. We already spoke about that window yeah. period. It's only very small as it is. But they're basically, all these guys, while they're getting the money, they are sacrificing the best years of their life. Between the 20 and 30 is supposed to be your prime time. They sacrifice not being able to go to Europe or Vegas in summer all the time for the next... And everyone wants to go. That's part of being or culture. Or off the experience. See, that's, that's the experience. Yeah. And then when you are th finished your football career, then if you want to go there, you're too old. People, you go to these day clubs and that, you're 31, 32. 19-year-old chicks and guys are not going to look at you or want to hang out with you because you're all in the older category. So you've sacrificed all that. Mm. Every time now that you do something wrong... They're under scrutiny. They're under scrutiny. Look at, look at Latrell not, and, and Wyden just and White, last week. Exactly. You know, they, they want to have a little bit of fun. I want to go to a nightclub. If I want to kiss you and have, a, have, have, have fun or do a somersault on the floor, I can't do that. Yeah. Everything I've got to do, there's a, should I do it or not? You, betting has come into the football game. You do something wrong and it's cost some guy a multi. You get hurled abuse by social media. These are all these things that just completely get overlooked for these guys. And at the end of the day, it's, it's not a very, it's a pretty lonely life. The reason being is because if your friends want to go out, you're in season and they want to go out on the weekend, you sacrifice going to parties and you're probably having to be the first person to leave all the time. The you waters. can't drink alcohol. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's a big price to pay. It's not like you can have these years back. It's like, okay, I finished my career. My, and unfortunately, with this period that you have, there's a lot of downtime. And because there's a lot of downtime, there's nobody to hang with in the middle of the day when these guys are off. They're, most of their friends are either at work or doing. So they lend, ends up leading them to a more destructive habit. They either end up gambling or they end up doing something just to fill in that period of time. And Pete, they don't get credit for the amount of discipline they have to show for what they do. Yes, I know they get freaking paid, and yes, they got, but they're fucking still kids. They're still people. And like you said, still people. and that's why Todd paid the ultimate price significantly. Wasn't allowed back into the that's NRL. That's ridiculous that he's not allowed yeah. back in the NRL when there's guys that have done ten times worse than what he's done. And, and it's heartbreaking. Have you have you spoken to Todd about that? Was he ever Mate, like he, he left? He, oh, of course, I was with him, but we haven't spoken about it. It's just, specifically, but I've seen firsthand it's left a sour taste in his mouth because he, I, I think he was a good enough to player to finish on his own terms, not yeah. on those terms. Well, he, he did really well in England when he was over there. So He did, he did well, but he, you know, he, he, he could have been all time. And he was. He was a Dalian medalist, yeah. Nothing to be shy about. That's fucking outstanding. Yeah. And there's all these guys are great athletes and they should have nothing. You know, as, I, as you'll see, a lot of these people will get remembered for the less stuff than the, what they should get remembered for. You know, now you bring people up and, you, you know, Jack White and Latrell Mitchell, they're probably going to be unbelievable. Or, you know, maybe even an immortal Latrell. But, and, he, and he'll get remembered for this stupid fight. It's just, and when they're just mucking around. It really, it really annoys me. It really does. I do feel slowly, though, as I think more people are getting offside with the media... When stuff like Latrell and Jack Wyden come out, comes out, people are on the side of the players and be like, you know what, media, you're a bit wrong here. Let the players have a bit of fun. Let them breathe a bit. Well, you'd hope so. But, yeah. then, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, it's still, I still want people to understand. Just, yeah, judge them. Yes, they're going to be their role models. Yes, but they're, at the same time, they are sacrificing more than you actually think about. Mm. More than just, just being themselves, just being having an own life, of being able to travel a little bit, experience something. Yes, they may get a chance later on, but really, you, you think it means nothing that's too late. Fuck, there's nothing better than going into a, a beach party and being young and enjoying going crazy and being able to do have some fun. When are they going to do it when they're 35? Yeah. It's just that's a big price to pay. It's, it was my, one of my highlights in my life that I was able to do stuff like that.